Ah, ja. Your Excellency, the President, the family of the Abonyo, Deputy President, my brothers Steve and um, Musalia, Viongozi Wote, Nawana Inchi Wote, Amjambo, Jokanyana Musaure Uru, Chamge Tugul, Asante Nisana. We said a number of things yesterday about Joyce Taboso. And today we are going to lay her to rest. But from all the accounts, Joyce Taboso was a great lady. And she's being laid to rest as a Kenyan heroine. She scaled the heights. I was looking at our records, the party. When Joyce came with the delegation from the elders from uh, Sotik and the family members, and finally said that she was ready to take the mantle. And then we agreed as a party and gave her a ticket. But before we gave her a ticket, there was a nomination. And there were 19 men who came out. Out of those 19, 13 finally participated. And Joyce beat them. She got 17,000 votes against 6,000, the closest rival. In the final elections, she garnered 23,400 votes against 13,000 on number two. I don't want to mention their names, which was great. And from there onwards, it was upwards and upwards and upwards. But as we are laying her to rest, one issue has been coping up and coping up. Like now, I see the ladies, governors, coming here and passionately begging that the deputy governor should appoint a, a woman as his deputy. I thought that is taken for granted, that that's not an issue, really. Because a woman was a governor and the man was a deputy. Now, when the woman governor has left the position, it's automatic that the woman governor will become a deputy governor. <laughs> 